Shekhinah El Shaddai Ima ilah Tzem Tzem Mai Shekhinah El Shaddai Ima ilah Tzem Tzem Mai Summoning Embodying Sacred She Who Dwells Within We Celebrate We Co-Create Me and the Goddess We Are King Shekhinah El Shaddai Ima ilah Tzem Tzem Mai All right, let's see how that warrant wants to work now. Drop the quality a little, see if that helps push it out to you better. Great. All right, so we've introduced ourselves in the chat room. Let's get our service moving with our prayers of gratitude tonight. So let's do our opening invocation. We come together as a community each month to welcome in the new month, give thanks for the month that has passed, ask for strength in the month to come, and open ourselves up for receiving of blessings of divine energy. I'm going to keep going at the moment and hope that if everybody's refreshing, they will uh, give it one more second. <sighs> I've optimized the last thing I can optimize on my side, y'all. So hopefully uh, we can muddle through tonight because normally there's lots I can see, but tonight there's just nothing that's... Uh, that I can change on my side as far as I can tell. Nope. All right. So let's just take a moment and take a deep breath. Shake off all the technical glitches. Let yourself become just very present here and now. And before we start naming ourselves into the space, I want to give you that visualization again, that, that sense of place so we can all feel that we're in the same space, even if it is in a cyber temple. And I want you to imagine a small white brick house in Washington, D.C and you're facing this very small little white brick house and just off to the side to your right there is a garden it's a long narrow garden that goes along the side of the house and you can see a path taking you down into it and you walk past the pomegranate tree and you come to an arbor a little garden gateway and you take your place in the line at the gate with everybody else who's here at the service tonight. And as you look through the gate, you see me standing looking back at you. And there's a fire lit in the center. And on your left, right, uh, directly in front of the gate, there is a copper bowl filled with scented water for you to wash your hands and anoint yourself with as you come through the gate. And I want you to be in that space and listen to the sounds of the cicadas, listen to the sounds of the cars going by, listen to the inev inevitable thump of hip hop music in the cars that are going up and down the street. And find yourself in this garden filled with fireflies and firelight and the glow of city lights. And you're standing in this arbor with everybody here in this community and now i'll ask you as whoever it is that is first in that line it's dark i can't quite see who it is what is the name the sacred name you wish to be sung into our space tonight And 
And as you share your names is that you wish to be called into the space with, I'll begin singing you in. And when the first person is sung in, cross over through the arbor gate and take your place in the circle with me and turn and face the line of everybody else. And you continue all of our voices building and singing each other into the space. Marhu, dear one, Shachina holy name. When I call on the light of my soul, I come home. Marhu, dear one. Arva, holy name, you have called on the light of your soul, welcome home. Marhu, dear one, Erica, holy name, you have called on the light of your soul. Welcome home. Marhu, dear one. Mandy, holy name. You have called on the light of your soul. Welcome home, Marhu, dear one, Eliora, holy name. You have called on the light of your soul. Welcome home. Marhu, dear one, Tanachman, holy name. You have called on the light of your soul. Welcome home. Marhu, Dear one, Rory, holy name, you have called on the light of your soul. Welcome home, Marhu, dear one, Aluma, holy name. You have called on the light of your soul. Welcome home. Marhu, dear one. J.A. Orcha, holy name, J. Del. You have called on the light of your soul. Welcome home. Marhu, dear one. Hariel, holy name. You have called on the light of your soul. Welcome home, Marhu, dear one, Rin, holy name. You have called on the light of your soul. Welcome home. Marhu, dear one, 
Liebe, holy name, you have called on the light of your soul. Welcome home, Bahu, dear one, Judith Maryam, holy name, you have called on the light of your soul. Welcome home, <laughs> Marhu, dear one, Shekhinah, holy name. We have called on the light of our soul. Welcome home. Let's do that two more times. Marhu, dear one. Shekhinah, holy We have called on the light of our souls. Welcome home, Marhu, dear one, Shekhinah, holy name. We have called on the light of our souls. We've come home. Just take a moment and stand in this amazing circle of souls connected tonight through the energy, the chashmal of the internet, but connected through the chashmal, the sacred energy that is in everything and of everything as well, and connected through our names, and connected through the holy names. And let us say, Amen. <laughs> and it was appropriate to me to see <laughs> Judith Merriam at the very end of our line tonight. All oh, right, I'll have to remember that that guest 776 is Judith Merriam. And I will have, because she is a sister from the world of Kohenet, like one of the current students in the program, and she is also a sacred drummer. And she had promised that the next time we were together in physical space that she would drum with me. And we were together in, in a bit of a spontaneous ritual as part of the classes over the open weekend. And she came right up with her drum and started to drum that circle, which was beautiful. And it's okay, Judith Merriam, you don't need to log in again. I can remember that's you. So it was great because I saw her name and then I knew the reason she was the last one there was to drum our line forward. And welcome Mandy B too. Did we see, there you are Mandy. Yeah, you're there the whole time. You can see your face now, it's lovely. And it was an amazing uh, experience this last week at Kohenet. It was our 10th anniversary of the founding of the program. That means nine years ago I began my training. It was the ordination of the fourth cohort of women, the Dalit cohort, our doorway into a whole new world of what Kohenet is going to be. We've had an amazing response since then, a lot of several articles and the women have been sharing their stories, which is amazing. We had the release of the book about Kohenet, which was incredible. Jill and Taya, the first book about Kohenet, outlining uh, the Kohenet uh, spin on Judaism, our Kohenet Jewish theology, in much more detail for everybody. 
which was amazing. And of course, the pre-launch of Taya's new album, This Bliss. So it was quite the week and it was also an open uh, Shabbaton weekend that many women were there with us and I got to meet a couple of the amazing people who are part of this community in person. So that was fantastic. I was sitting at dinner and uh, it was a mixed table and we were all just introducing ourselves. There were women from Kohenet there, there were women for the open weekend there and uh, I introduced myself and the woman sitting next to me went, wait, you're Katsira? I'm from One Show. And it was just super fun and getting to connect with her over the weekend. So that was really lovely. And Choresh uh, Tov Stewart, welcome to our circle tonight. Uh, please introduce yourself in the chat room. And we've just sung ourselves into the space. But if you'd like to share both uh, your name and where you're from, and also what sacred name you would like us to call in. Catherine, I thought that was you. Your voice is so tiny right now. <laughs> you're not even 80 by 80 pixels. You're very tiny. So uh, welcome, Stuart, to our circle tonight as well. And uh, Rin, it was great getting to connect with you and seeing you dancing with, and it, during the services with your friend you were there with, I think. And it was just really lovely. And just quite, quite the week. So welcome to everybody here tonight. If you are just joining us, uh, let me post the link to the Siddur in the chat room for you while I take a little sip. And if you are just joining us, please take a moment to introduce yourself in the chat room. Tell us who you are and where in the world you physically are. And if it's meaningful for you, what is the sacred name you wish to be known as tonight? It may be your English name, it may be your Hebrew name, it may just be a word that is powerful and resonant for you in this moment. And we are going to move into our expressions of gratitude now. I think I just shared a whole lot of things I'm grateful for. That was an amazing week. And, uh, but now is the time where as a community, we take stock, we take a moment to reflect on this month that is coming to an end. And we think about all that has gone right. Everything we are grateful for. There's plenty of things, plenty of things that um, we may be mourning, that we may be sad about. But there may be things, a lot of things, whether they're going on in the world, in your life, and we're going to talk about those things. Don't worry. But first, we are going to give thanks because if you are here tonight, something is going right. You have electricity. You have the internet, which hopefully means you have a safe roof over your head. It hopefully means you have enough food to eat. It hopefully means at minimum your basic necessities are met, and I hope a lot more than it means you have a community that you can come to, if nothing else, here online. But it is a real community, and as Rin and I point out, we meet in person and get a chance to sometimes spend time in physical space together as well. So we will move now into our expressions of gratitude. What has gone right for you? What are you grateful for in the month that is coming to a close tonight? And we'll sing Moda Ani together, the, uh, the song of praise from the morning prayer, traditionally from the morning prayer service. And we will share what it is we are grateful for in this month coming to a close. And as always, I will attempt to sing in your gratitudes. So I need another sip. And yes, please continue to hear Judith Merriam who you'll see as guest 776 drumming for you in the background. Hear her in the background, in your mind. Moda ani lefanaich, Moda ani lefanaich. I have to pause. I am so grateful right now that Ariella is here with us and welcome Vicky as well. And I forgot to mention Moda Ani 
if you identify as a woman, moda ani, if you identify as a man, lefanaich, if you prefer feminine God language, and lefanecha, if you prefer or resonate with masculine God language. And then we'll move to the English where it doesn't make a difference. Moda ani lefanaich. Moda ani lefanaich. Ruachai bekayamat. Moda ani lefanecha. Moda. Oh, I am grateful. Oh, I am grateful in the face of the one, in the face of the one. Ani lefanaich, moda ani lefanaich, ruachai ekayemet, moda ani lefanecha, moda ani lefanecha. Ruachai vekayam. Oh, we are grateful. Oh, we are grateful for Kim soon volunteering with one with one show. And Erica's new job. Oh, we are grateful. Oh, we are grateful for a beautiful family vacation and returning home in safety. Oh, we are grateful. Oh, we are grateful for the social safety net and Tal Nachman getting disability. Oh, we are grateful. Oh, we are grateful for Isabella Friedman. And Alad Chaim and Adam Segula, who helps to run it amazingly. Oh, we are grateful. Oh, we are grateful for Rin working on a novel and supporting people in mourning. Oh, we are grateful. Oh, we are grateful for our best friends and loves who are always there. In this case, apparently, it's a woman named Steph. In my case, it's an amazing man by the name of R2 upstairs. Oh, we are grateful. Oh, we are grateful for Lenny enjoying retirement and for sitting at the crossroads of healing. Oh, we are grateful. Oh, we are grateful for fabulous new music from Taya, Bat Shemesh, and Shir Yaakov. Oh, we are grateful. Oh, 
we are grateful for sacred dramas, even if we only can hear them in our minds and hearts. Moda ahani lefanaich, moda ahani lefanaich, ruachai vekayamet, moda ahani lefanecha, moda. Ani lefanecha, ruachai vekayam. Oh, we are grateful. Oh, we are grateful. In the face of the one. In the face of the one, oh, we are grateful, oh, we are grateful. In the face of the one, in the face of the one, one last time on the English. Oh, we are grateful. Oh, we are grateful. In the face of the one. In the face of the one. For all these things many named one that we have named aloud or in our hearts that we have shouted from the rooftops or whispered in our hearts for all these things both large and small that have gone right in our lives in this month that is ending we give thanks and if you give thanks with what I am saying, and if you agree with what I am saying, then let me hear you, let me see you say, Amen. And I am grateful for all of you being here tonight. I am grateful for those who have been here since the moment we started and for Helena, who is just joining us now. Welcome, Helena Chodesh Tov. And once the amens finish, I'll post a link to the Siddur again. So... We have shared what it is we are grateful for, and hopefully you are feeling a little bit warmer, a little more open, a little fuzzy. That heart space is opening up with that. Do me a favor, breathe in and stretch up. Oh, and breathe in and reach down. Because we now go from this place of gratitude. We move from this place of gratitude into that moment where we look forward to the month that is opening, this month that is opening, and we think about what it is we need strength for. It may be again something large, cosmic and universal, it may be something small, personal, and private. It may be something huge, personal, and private. It may be something that is your life directly, or maybe you need strength to continue to bear witness 
and to help cure the injustice in the world. Maybe what it is you need strength for is the spiritual soul work that is Elul bringing you to Rosh Hashanah in one month from today. Whatever it is, this is the time to think about what it is that you need strength for and then ask for it. We ask for it so the members of this community can pray for you and acknowledge what it is you need strength for. We ask for it so hope so, not hopefully, so, that harmonic resonance of asking for it can ping that perfect spot in the connectedness, the ether, the chashmal, the ever-presentness that is the Holy One to trigger that strength to be released for you. I think I shared this last time as well, but I've been watching Brian Greene, the physicist, talk about how what the universe is and what I keep getting for it is what they're discovering is magic and they're discovering God the Holy One because when they explain things like quantum physics to me I see my understanding in many ways of how prayer works of how practices work of how magic works of how the Holy One functions and so I hope that you will share what it is you need strength for in this month to come so we may together trigger those perfect resonances in the Holy One to release that strength for each of us. And I'll turn this part of our service over to Holy Thea to sing us through. Yeah. 
Personal, profound, big, communal. For all these things, O oh Holy One, that we have named aloud or whispered in the deepest place of our hearts, we ask for strength. We tap into the strength in this month that is opening. And let us say, Amen. I say to you all, Yasher Koach. It is a phrase that is usually used when someone has uh, completed something challenging, but it means continued strength. And so I wish you all, Yasher Koach, in living your life as part of Israel, God wrestlers, and being people who do your best to live every day walking in your understanding of the Holy One. So Yashar Koach to everyone. <laughs> and Lanny, cheap gas, if that's what you need, if that's where one of your pain points is right now, I don't think that's inappropriate. Although it's pretty inexpensive right now as things go. So now we move to the moment. And the silly Jewish humor has begun. Great. <laughs> we move to our moment of pausing to explore this month that we are walking into, this month of Elul. And I want to bring up a image for you. It's in your Sidor, but I'm going to put it up on screen anyway. So as we have been doing for all of this year, looking at uh, the wheel of the Jewish year through the lens of the transparent tarot, which is what you're looking at. And these are three cards overlaying each other to create this montage. And from your left to right, that is Av, and then in the center is a Lul, where we are entering now. And on the right is Tishrei. And Av was the month of strength and finding the strength for the journey. But now, now, we are on the journey and it is a journey that each of us can only take on our own. That's what the mountain is about. That is what that light at the top of the mountain is about. It is a journey within ourselves and on our own in many ways, even if we are in community, to arrive at Tishrei, the moment of judgment. However, you understand Rosh, 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 Kodesh, Rosh Hashanah and the idea of judgment. It may be balancing the scales in your own heart 
and seeing how you have measured up for yourself and what you've tried to do with this year. Or maybe you resonate with that, uh, the metaphors of Rosh Hashanah about the books of judgment and the book of life. And so maybe that's where you are. But this journey that we're on now is in the middle and it is the journey within our hearts in the month of clarity. And again, I want to go back to that great phrase of Illulian mysteries that uh, Aluma shared with me this morning and that idea of this is this month and that's what it's all about. And so the question of this month is how do we find the strength to journey alone? What strength did we find in Av? What power, what personal power did we find in the month of Av that we are using to fuel our journey in Elul? And with that in mind, our chant for, the, for tonight is going to be Psalm 27, or a take on Psalm 27. It is a historic practice to uh, recite Psalm 27 every day during Elul that many people take on around the world. It's a practice I began a couple of years ago. I have many uh, psalteries, I think that's how you say it, psaltery, uh, many standalone books of Psalms, many, many different translations and interpretations and trends interpretations that I work with uh, from the JPS uh, to uh, the Zen Psalms, to uh, Rejoice Beloved Woman, which is a book of the Psalms recreated through the lens of divine feminine and in feminine uh, first person language. I have so many copies of them. I have Reb Zalman's Praying the Psalms now, which I'll be using this year. But a few years ago when I was exploring this, uh, this chant came to me. So tonight I humbly <laughs> share one of my own chants with you as our closing chant. So as we sing this together, I invite you to think about what is the one thing that if you had one thing and only one thing that you would ask of the Holy One as you move through this month and into the new year, what is that one thing for you? What does it look like for you to dwell in a house of holiness? What does it mean to you to behold the sweetness of the Holy One, of the Holy One, and to gaze on the palace of the Holy One? And um, J.A. is sharing in J.A. is sharing in the chat room that yes, it is indeed also a custom for many uh, to blow the shofar every day except Shabbat as a heartfelt song. So that is another practice that maybe you can take up during Elul. Whatever it is for you that helps you do the work of Elul, of examining your heart and your soul, so you can arrive at Rosh Hashanah ready to enter the new year. So let us begin our song tonight. It is on page six of our Siddur. I'll post the link in the chat room one last time. And we'll go through it a couple of times. It circles right back to the line, you are my light and my refuge. And that is also the line that we will end on. You are my light and my refuge. Who should I fear? One thing, one thing. One thing I ask of you, one thing, one thing, one thing I ask of you to dwell in the house of love, to dwell in your house all the days of my life, to behold your sweetness and gaze on your palace, shelter me, raise me up. Shelter me, raise me up. You are my light and my refuge. Who should I fear? One thing, one thing, one thing I ask of you. One thing, one thing, one thing I ask of you to dwell in your house all the days of my life. 
to behold your sweetness and gaze on your palace. Shelter me, raise me up, shelter me, raise me up. You are my light and my refuge. Who should I fear? One thing, one thing, one thing I ask of you. One thing, one thing, one thing I ask of you to dwell in your house all the days of my life. To behold your sweetness and gaze on your palace. Shelter me, raise me up, shelter me, raise me up. You are my light and my refuge. Who should I fear? One thing, one thing, one thing I ask of you. One thing, one thing, one thing I ask of you to dwell in your house all the days of my life. To behold your sweetness and gaze on your palace. Shelter me, raise me up, shelter me, raise me up. You are my light and my refuge. Who should I fear? You are my light and my refuge. Who should I fear? You are my light and my refuge. Who should I fear? Blessings to you all in your one thing. May you find it so you are able to dwell in a house of holiness all the days of your life. Thank you so much for being here tonight. Thank you for being a part of one show. We have such an amazing compliment of high holiday services coming your way. Really, if you look at that calendar, you're going to be amazed at how much is happening. We have Erev Rosh Hashanah going on that I'll be bringing you in with, opening the gates. We have tools. Wait, I want to be able to get all of these right. We have tools for a sacred something. I can't read it on here. Hold on, I want to get that right. We have tools for a sacred new year with Patrick coming in. We have poems of Yom Kippur with Patrick again as an alternative uh, Yom Kippur service on Erev. I'll be back with you for Ne'ila Yom Kippur. And this year for the first time, I think the first time, at least first time for me, I will be uh, leading an Arab Sukkot service, exploring uh, Sukkot and the Ushpizin, Ushpizot practices as ancestor practices. And with any luck, coming to you live from my sukkah. So I hope you will join us for that as well. So I've probably overcommitted myself for the holidays because I think I just saw that I'm back for Shmini Atzeret as well. I am. So I've overcommitted a little, so I hope you will be here to join us. And on Yom Kippur, uh, we will try to end promptly for ending of the breakfast for everybody. And I will have been coming uh, from the National Mall here in DC, where a big service is being held at the Lincoln Memorial. Uh, Rabbi Arthur Wasco will be there leading the charge, and one of my Kohenet sisters is bringing her amazing prophetic haftara. Uh, with her to do. So if any of you are coming to DC for the Shalom Center's event, please let me know. I would love to uh, begin my f last fast meal with you or break my fast with you. And all of you, again, so grateful that you are all here. May this month of Elul bring you renewal, refreshment, strength, vigor. May you find your one thing to enter the new year with. And with any luck, I will see many of you here for parts of the High Holiday Services. 
And if I don't see you, then I will wish you a happy new year wherever you are and wherever you are choosing and able to spend your holidays this year. And please remember that it takes a little bit to keep the stream streaming. So if you can donate anything, it's always appreciated. Uh, or check out the classes at Darshan Yeshiva and join something there. And like Kim, you too can become part, this part of the One Chill family. So you are welcome to lead a class, a workshop, a service. You are welcome to record something and send it to me and then I'll play it during services. So however it is you choose to get involved, we hope you will. And if Ariella and Vicky are still here, I can't tell Ariella, we wish you continued healing and strength. Blessings to you all, and with any luck, they are closing music will play, and you will yet again hear our friend Holy Taya singing us out. Fodesh Tov to you all. I'll see you soon. God is willing. We celebrate, we co-create, me and the goddess, we are kin. Shekhinah El Shaddai, Ima Ila'ah, Sem Semai. Shekhinah El Shaddai, Ima Ila'ah. Keep us and as she shines her face, may we embody grace. May she bless you and may she keep you and as she shines her face, may you embody grace. May she bless you and may she.